Welcome back, it's Bry at JudeBlaster.com and today we're just going to have a little troubleshooting session uh, this is for video box and I'm just going to run s through some of the most common problems you'll encounter as a first time user, for a first time installer and uh, this is just all the stuff I see all the time and I just thought it might be worth making a video so grab yourself a cup of tea and we'll just we'll just stroll through them all the common mistakes and problems okay so i think first things first is downloading and installing problems now when you try to download video box or i would say any program really you have a 50 50 percent chance of your browser um, your browser preventing your download and there's usually a setting uh, if you go into your options or settings there's usually an option somewhere in security settings similar to this one that says block dangerous and deceptive content um, it's basically useless it'll just stop anything that's got um, an extension that it doesn't like so if you've got that on, you've half a chance that your browser will block block your download. So you can turn that off, and that will stop it blocking your downloads. Um, another common problem with installs that we see is you'll download the file, and you'll go to run it, and it'll either stop or it won't install and nine times out of ten that will be your antivirus program on your computer um, it'll be t it'll be detecting it as a threat because it won't have seen it before or it's because it's an executable file and it'll just block it by default and you will have to you will have to tell your antivirus program to ignore it because what we've seen in the past is it either blocks the install by deleting files as they're created and you get like a frozen install that doesn't do anything or you install it and as soon as it runs it gets deleted by your antivirus so you will have to tell your antivirus that it's a safe program to run and it is completely safe to run. Um, I've made videos about this subject before and if you want to go and check that about antivirus false positives you can you can go and check that video. So they're the most the two most common problems for downloading and installing it's your browser security settings and your antivirus program on your PC. They're the most likely things for blocking a, a good install okay so the next most common problem is usually to do with installing music files so we're going to deal with the most common one which is the dreaded unavailable red banner message and I'll just show you what that looks like so on the left here we've got our categories and we've got one named Britpop this one here and when I click it what you will see is a, ba a red banner at the top saying unavailable now I've got some tracks in this category so you may be thinking why am I seeing this banner I'll just show you what it looks like so I'm going to click it now and you can see they're unavailable at the top and the tracks get refreshed so every time I click it I get that unavailable and you may be wondering to yourself why that is and I'll, I'll show you right now so remember that the the category is called Britpop and I'll just show you that um, so looking at on our C drive in our JBP folder this is where we keep our tracks and there's the Britpop folder or category let's just have a look in there and we've got some tracks and an image so 
you may be puzzling why the hell is it showing that the unavailable message and that's because this folder Britpop let's just look at it again it's a category so in categories you have to have albums and inside albums you have tracks but if we look in Britpop again you've just got tracks there's no there's no album so what you need to do is create another folder and name it um, whatever you need to name it be best best brick pop we'll call that and then what we need to do is put those music files in that folder best brick pop so now if we were to try that uh, we can see that if I click it now it works and it shows those tracks um, although there's no picture in there yet you can go and put a picture in there but that's the reason you get the unavailable message at the top it's because you can't have in a in a in a category you can't have loose tracks floating about they must be inside a an album folder so your tracks must be in their own folder and that's the reason for that message okay let's look at another common problem and that's artwork not showing so we're going to use the Britpop category again right here and I've removed the uh, category image and as you can see it's not showing so I'm going to show you why that, that image is not showing it's showing the default and obviously you don't want that so let's have a look at why that's show, uh, not showing uh, the artwork so as you can see this is the artwork for the Britpop category but it's got the wrong name it says artwork it can't be called that it must be called folder folder.jpg folder.jpg it has to be that name because video box knows to look for that if it was named something else like my artwork cover cover art it could be anything video box wouldn't know what to look for and it has to be that file type jpeg it has to be exactly that file name folder.jpeg and then your tracks uh, your your um, cover art will show it has to be that name okay so another problem with uh, naming files um, so you can see this is another problem you can see that the image is named folder.jpg this is correct but if we look in video box it still doesn't show the image now we've had tons of people ask us about this tons and tons of people and what it is well in my opinion it's a bit of a fault with Windows um, and I'll show you for why let's go back to look at the folder JPEG now that should show it's got the correct name folder and it's the correct type JPG JPEG so why the hell why the hell is that not showing and I'll show you what it is it's a really tricky sod if you look in your tools menu at the top and go to folder options and click on the view tab and if you look down there's a little tick box and it says hide extensions for known file types and that, I think that that is clicked by default with every new install of Windows I'm not 100% sure but I think it is so let's uncheck that and click OK 
Now let's look at the file name. It's folder.jpg.jpg. The extension, this part was hidden. So you couldn't see it. So what people usually do is because they can't see that, they add another JPEG on the end, like it was before, and obviously that's not going to work. So if we delete that extra extension like that, that is now correct, and that will work, and I'll show you, I'll prove it. So I'll refresh the, um, the categories. And there you go, the image has appeared on the brick pot category again. Uh, you'll be surprised how many people have been caught out by this. And it's not, uh, it's not obvious because people have been used to using um, Windows with this extension hidden. Um, and most people like myself, programmers and techie people like us, we know straight away to to show that file name extension. So that's another one that, that can catch you out. Uh, another type of file that can catch you out is karaoke files. And um, we've had people say that they won't play karaoke files. So I'll show you the most common couple of reasons for that. Your karaoke files need a, a a special codec to play and that's installed from the install menu so first of all you've got to have that installed so make sure when you install video box you inst install the karaoke codec uh, it's one of the required components and the files themselves what you need for a, a karaoke file to play is an mp3 file that's got the um, the sound in it, the music, and the CDG file that's got the graphics, that's the letters and and, and, and lyrics that go on the screen, um, and they have to be named identically. And um, what I mean by that is case sensitive. So. These two files, Dummy Test Song 1, uh, CDG and MP3 are a pair and they'll play fine. Um, but if I was to rename one of these with an uncapitalized D, like so, these two now are not a pair, they don't match because the file name has to match exactly. You cannot have emit spaces, use capitals and lower case, you can't mix and match. They have to exa have exactly the same file name. It's only the CDG and MP3 extension at the end there that's different. So this wouldn't play now, but if I, if I rename that back with a capitalized D, like the CDG file above it, they repair again and they will play because they're named identically. Um, so that's a common gotcha where you have a, a slightly different file name and they don't match. Um, another common, well not, not so common, but some people think that because some other programs will play zip files, uh, Video box won't play this zip file, so that's not going to work at all. It'll never look for a zip file. It only looks for matching pairs like that uh, in an album folder. So that's in male artists, that's the album folder. Aha. And that that song will, will, will play fine, but the zipped one, it won't. Uh, also, make sure that you put the files in the right place. Um, see the previous gotchas for that, where to place your files. Well, I think that's about it for now. Those are the most common ones we get. Um, yeah, thanks for watching, guys.